Yo, what's shaking? What's going on? I got, I got, I got, I got a question for you guys right quick before I start this podcast. All right. So, I, I just want to know. I'm, I'm about, I'm about to flip it, flip it, switch it around, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But what I want to know is, you driving, right? driving you chilling you you know you, you know you just you, you've been in the house you've been quarantined for about two two months and a half and all like that and you rolling you know you, you rolling you get the family in the car you are parlay in the car you know like yo let's go for you know let's go for a drive let's just chill let's see what's up so all you guys hop in the car right Y'all get in the car, and y'all start to roll down the street. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, you... What, what was that? Did I hit something? Did I hit something? I've got to go to the outside. I find it. Did I hit something? So you go outside, and you look on the ground, and you see two big bags on the ground. Now... See, here's the thing that's that mess that struck me at first. I was like, when I read the article, they they actually picked up the bags and threw it in the car, and didn't find out until they got home what it was. What it was. Now I can under, you know there's roadkill everywhere. You know you ride down the highways, you see you see roadkill deers, you see roadkill whatever. And, you know, normally, you know, when you run over it, you know, you're not going to probably stop or anything like that. Maybe, maybe you thought, maybe you thought that you hit a dog or something like that. And you probably might want to get out and assess the damage. Like, you know, see what kind of damage that they did to the car. (laughs) So, but instead, it wasn't that. They ran back. They seen two big bads on the ground and they decided... Hey, let's just throw this in the car and take it on home. Could you, I mean, if if it wasn't what they found in there, you know what I'm saying? Which was, which is where I'm about to talk about in a minute. But suppose it was something else, man. I mean, just think about it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just think about it. Was, if it was something else in that bag. It was two bags that was on the ground, man, and they ran over it, and it was like, yo, uh, let's get out of the car, and we just we just go ahead and head home with just two mysterious bags. But when they got home, though, when they got home, it turned out to be over $1 million. $1 million. In cash, I kid you not. I kid you not. One million dollars in cash. One million dollars. Let's uh, let's see what. Hold on. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, we we about to we we about to, we, we we about to I'm I'm about to hit you off with the I'm about to hit you off with the with the report right quick. But before I get into that, man, I gotta tell you guys, man, one million dollars in cash. And you wanna know you, you wanna know what they did? You wanna know what they did? They said in they 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 called the sheriff's department. And they gave the money back. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you what you what you talking about? What you talking about? Like good Samaritans. It says here that David and Emily Schultz left their Carolina County home with their children last Saturday, drove their pickup truck over what they thought was a bag of trash. Now what you gonna do? You you gonna you're going to pick up the trash and you're going to take it home and what? Dispose of it there? 
No, you leave it on the road if you thought it was a bag of trash. At least that's what I would do. I would I would have left it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, suppose if it was something else in there, like body parts, a dead dog, a dead animal, uh, uh, or whatever the case. Suppose it was just that. I don't know. I don't know. The Schultz tossed the bags in the back of their pickup truck, and they just kept on riding. You know, they went to where they need to go to, and they just, you know, had a good old time. But when they got home, that's when they were surprised. Maybe the prayers was answered. Maybe the light opened up in the, I mean, opened up in the skies and shined down on this particular family. Inside the bags was three baggies filled with money. Now you could have fit you you probably figured that the bags probably fell off of a money truck, you know, like a Brinks or those new Loomis trucks, I guess they drive. But you figured that, that it it fell off one of those trucks. You know what I'm saying? So you, you yeah. What you do? What would you do? What would you do? Would you would have been like this good Samaritan family called up the called up the sheriff's department and say, hey, you know, we found two big bags of money. We don't know who it belongs to. We want to give it to you guys so you can find the rightful owners. Well, they did. They contacted the sheriff's department, which one of the deputies went inventory the inventory the money. And determined that it was over, or not over, but one million dollars. One million dollars. I'm just saying. One million dollars, man. So the sheriff's department determined that they went on here, they took the money and they took it back over to the uh over to the office and say, hey, you know, I, I guess these guys that was in uh at the department was kind of wondering to themselves like yo one million dollars they found that and they turned it in one million dollars their actions deserve nothing less they saved someone a lot of money and set a wonderful example for everyone else Oh my God. Let's go to WTVR CBS for the report. Lies they just hauled nearly a million dollars in cash home. Crime Insider John Burkett is live now with the details in that story, John. Finders keepers, Bill. Well, that is not the lesson that a Caroline County teacher taught her children over the weekend. In fact, it was opposite. It was return it if it doesn't belong to you. Integrity. Once you talk to Caroline County's Chance family, you can tell their morals and values are about as rock solid as Billy Goat's Gruff on the side of Route 250 in Goochland. He said, man, this is a cruel joke. You find a bag of money and you got to give it back. They were on a drive Saturday afternoon weaving through backcountry central Virginia roads when they came across some goats and pre-made storage sheds. It made a huge clunk noise. Emily Shant says the car before them swerved and missed the bag, but they couldn't. They accidentally hit it. So they got out thinking someone had dumped trash in the middle of Broad Street. They picked the bag up, threw it in the back of the truck, saw one 15 feet away, threw that in the back of the truck, and headed into town. Little did they know, they were driving around for hours with nearly a million dollars in cold cash. Inside of the bag, there was little packages that were little plastic like bags and they were addressed on the front of them and it said cash vault. The Shants called Caroline County deputies. Now, me personally, I mean, hey, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, you do got some good people out here with some good hearts. I mean, do I consider myself a good person with a good heart? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? But what would you do if you found one million dollars? One million dollars. In cash. 
in the side of the road. Would you would have did what they did? They would have called the police and, you know, gave it back, I guess. I don't know. And I'm I did, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I, I I'm truly, truly am. I'm going to be honest with you. Me? Now, the, the, the left side of me is like, yo, bro, we need this cheese, man. This cheese is here. Let's do something with it. Let's do something positive with it. Let's do something that you, let's invest it. But the right side of me is like, yo, that's wrong. That's wrong, bro. This money belongs to somebody. You know, the people, the, the, the transportation company, the the Brinks truck company that that lost this bag of money is in trouble, bro. They might lose their jobs. So you got to give this money back. But the left side of me like, yo, man, you broke, nigga. You're broke. You're broke. Come on now. Sorry for using the N word. My bad. My bad. But I'm just saying that's that's how the left side talks to me. I got the left side and the right side, you know. That's your conscience talking to you. That lets you know whether or not if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. And everything comes with consequences. So me personally, I would have took the good side. I would have took the bad side. I would have put it together and, and, and split down the middle. I would have took a reward. That's what I would have did. I would have would have took a couple of, you know, maybe a package or two. You know, ain't ain't no telling how much was in there. But uh, you know, I would have I would have took a package or two. Stay on the job, you hit a three million dollar seizure. Wait, he said four. Ah, what? taxation without representation, brother. Nothing's free in this world. You're lucky first day, motherfucker. Put it to the side. And uh and yeah, and then call uh state troopers, say. Hello, uh, lockout man here. Um, uh, yeah, I got two bags of money. 1149998, shots fired. Officer down, repeat, officer down. Right here. And um, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I, I want to, you know, re, you know, turn it in. And I bet you on the other end of this phone, They'll be laughing like, <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> really? Really, nigga? You you found two bags of money, and you would like to return it? Yeah. What's so funny about that? I mean, it ain't mine. I mean, you know, everybody's up under the thing. It's like finders, keepers, loser, peepers. It ain't mine. So what would you do? What would you do? Would you be like this good Samaritan Virginia family folk driving in the backwoods of, uh, backwoods of America? Y'all ran over some money that y'all thought that y'all ran over something else, but yet it was money. One million dollars. One million dollars. What would you do? Tell me in the comments below, man. Yo, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Yo, I got interviews, interviews, interviews on the way. And I like to give a couple of shout outs to a couple of people, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to Beauty and the Beast for subscribing to your boy. I really do appreciate that, man. Well, man, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. I do follow you guys. Y'all do have some good content over there. So go over there and check out Beauty and the Beats, man. They, they got some good content. Also, I had an awesome conversation with Sheree. If I'm not out, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, you got to excuse me because I beat up everybody's name. Sheree Moore from She trucking she subscribed to your boy as well so thank you very much yo watch out for that interview too
It, it had, yo, it had to happen. I mean, you know, all these lady truckers that I have talked to, all these female truckers that I have talked to, all of them had one common denominator in our conversation. And that was, yeah, she trucking. So, def so definitely, uh, I, I appreciate her coming on and like, I mean, I appreciate talking to her and I will have her on. But like I said, the common denominator with, with all the female truckers that I have talked to was the respect and the resources that she trucking provides. She trucking Facebook group has over 8,000 female drivers, 8,000 from around the world. And she been she been doing this for like two three years, man. So shout out to Sheree Moore and she trucking. All right, so definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, that is it. I really do appreciate you guys coming on and uh, watching. Yo, help me grow the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody called me a journalist. You know, I got a great comment from um, from my guy. And he says right quick before I get up out of here because I want to spotlight him. He said, yo, bro, don't sell yourself short. You are a journalist in the most traditional sense of the word. You are exploring and telling the stories of the world and people most rarely see. That's exactly what a journalist does. Keep up the good work. And that is my man on the road with with Chaplin, if I'm not mistaken. So I really do appreciate all of the sentiments, man. You know, if you guys appreciate content like this, please share it. Let somebody know what I'm doing. If you're into trucking, uh, trucking conversations, just more, man. I'm just rambling on. I'm rambling. So that is it. I am done. You guys take it easy. This is Lockout Men, and I'm out.